Welcome back to Oops series for PHP and in this episode we are going to learn about the inheritance system in the PHP. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more updates about the Laravel, View, PHP and much more coming in the future. So let's see what is exactly the inheritance. So firstly I will create a new file inheritance.php and now I will open and the PHP tag and firstly before going ahead I will talk about the fruits yeah fruits because the fruits are very beneficial for our health and health is wealth and you and me the developers sitting in front of the computer for long and long time we need to take care of our health but here let's create a class for Apple uh, firstly this is not the company this is the fruit apple okay so I will create a public property called name okay and let's simply say a public function to set name okay so I will get the name from the user then I will say this arrow name is equal to dollar name okay simple thing so let's go I will say apple is equal to new apple, apple. then I will set the uh, name so apple arrow set name and I will say my apple and that's good then echo out apple arrow name here we are doing fine and let's go to chrome go to slash inheritance.php and yeah my apple is here okay that's good but obviously I want to eat mango also so here we have the mango and everything is good uh, yeah that's nice so what I will do I will again mango and is equal to new mango mango arrow set name and my mango and the same thing mango arrow name and just echo this and comment all these things otherwise we will get to echo okay go to chrome refresh and yeah my mango is here but here is the new problem you can see we are doing the exact same thing in two classes why not create some new class which is having the same property or same function which both of these have so let's create a new function for apple which is like public function juice okay obviously we can create a juice for apple but not for mango there is a mango shake not the mango juice okay so I will just echo out juice and we don't have any kind of juice functionality for the mango but you can see these properties are exactly same so why not create a new class called fruits only and here I will copy this thing from here and firstly what I will do I will delete these things from both classes now you can see apple class has one function but mango does not have any function but if I now want to access this property of fruit I have to say extends fruits just this and it will get each and everything in the fruits which is public obviously inside this apple class so I will comment these things and you can see we have all these apple new apple set my apple and then this thing so let's go to chrome refresh yeah my apple is here but if I comment this and uncomment this mango part you can see we are getting error which says call to undefined function set name that means this set name function which is in the fruits is not accessed by this mango class because mango class is all empty so I will extend mango also to fruits okay and now I will refresh and yeah my mango is here okay same thing is that 
this apple class can have juice so we can access this juice because this is for apple only so with the help of inheritance you can code once and use in many other classes so you can see the apple and mango class both have some functionality common so we have pushed that thing in a parent class and this is called the child classes so the structure of inheritance is just like this called parent class if we want to extend this then class of child class will always extends parent class okay like this so we have parent class and the child class extends parent class like we have fruits class and this apple and mango class is extending fruit class so this is the way we are using inheritance and if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and you can also email me and if you have learned something from bitfumes you can donate one dollar or more on patreon.com and if you don't want to do all these things just do one thing subscribe to my channel and like on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye